election tribunal, any judge who makes wrong pronouncements will see the wrath of God, Primate Ayodele. The spiritual leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has reacted to the ongoing presidential election petition against the victory of the standard flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Zinubu. Recall that, according to the Independent National Electoral Commission, former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the APC, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Zinubu, defeated other strong contenders, including Peter Obi of the Labour Party and Alhaji Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party and Rabi Musa Kwankwaso of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, to clinch the apex political seats in the country. The presidential candidates of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and that of the People's Democratic Party, Ahaji Atiku Abubakar, are currently challenging the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the presidential election tribunal in Abuja. The Nigerian Tribune paper reported that Primate Elijah Babatunde Ayodele, in a statement through his media aide, Osho Oluatunshi, said, I still want to tell the judges that there will be consequences if they give the wrong judgments concerning the election tribunal. Any judge who makes wrong pronouncements will see the wrath of God and the anger will come upon them. He added, the judges must make the right pronouncements so that they can be blessed and do what will cause tribulation, agony, pain and tears. They should not do what will destroy their generations. Prime Minister Ayodele stated further, the judges for the governorship election tribunal and the presidential election tribunal should take note. Gone are the days when they go scot-free, when they give judgments that were influenced by money or interest. God is watching them. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. I think the primate's warning is in order, except he wants them to tilt towards his prediction of who he has in mind. But he should know that his thought is far different from God's thought. Let's all pray that God should guide them all right to stand on the truth for the sake of a better Nigeria, which we all have been looking forward to have one day. May God forgive you, unbeliever in Old Testament. God uses prophets to instruct the king and his people. If those have here, let them hear what the Lord says. Only God Almighty knows that Peter will be won the election. If not, why Einek deleted the uploaded results from Portal? God will judge Einek chairman. He and his generation will suffer. If Peter will be succeeded, Einek chairman. If Peter will be succeeded, Einek chairman will be hung or beheaded. Please, sir, will, with all humility, let us know your political party. We don't seem to hear anything from you, from your end anymore, except matters on politics. You have said it all. The judgment is going to descend not only on the judges, all lawyers who are supporting defending evil, all INEC officials who took part in rigging of the elections, and the judges who collect money to pervert judgments will experience the anger of God. This primate has turned into a politician. He is no longer a pastor or whatever he calls himself. The primate seems to not consistent with his predictions to my understanding, or he was biased in his pronouncements 
he said before the election, after the election that Tinubu's that President Tinubu's victory will uplift Nigerians and Nigeria out of poverty, with reduced corruption in the society, likewise Atiku. But Atiku will own Atiku own will be short lived, while Peter Obi will not go far due to his inexperience in terms of governance. So what is he saying now? If I talk now, people will say I don't come what concern prophets with politics. Please, they should all tell this man to go and win souls. Not all this rubbish is talking. If he does not talk about revelation which are coming true, he will talk about politics to get attention. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends.